Introducing the all new Corolla. Three years from now, the minimum wage could be $10.10 an hour. In the Guam Women's Chamber of Commerce Wage and Compensation Forum held this morning, Senator B.J. Cruz announced that he will be introducing a bill to increase the minimum wage 95 cents every year for the next three years, hiking it up from $7.25 to $10.10. We've already increased the government of Guam. And if you see the disparity between the government of Guam and the private sector, I mean, it's embarrassing. And so it's all, everybody's having to suffer that already because of the increases that we've done under the Competitive Wage Act. And so it's only fair to make sure that those with the lowest wages right now are able to be able to buy that can of Spam or that bag of rice. Senator Cruz said he would rather go straight up to $10.10, but thinks gradually phasing it in will allow the government and private sector to work together to take care of the most vulnerable in our community. He said he has been considering the idea for some time, and given the support of local economists, he thinks now is the time to do it. When PNC asked for the reasoning behind the bill, Senator Cruz replied. In the stats that I presented and in the speech that you'll see, uh, we have 12,000 women who are living below the poverty level. We have 6,000 families that they earn income that is below the poverty level because of the fact that they're only earning $7.25 an hour. Senator Cruz added that he's sure he'll get the support needed from the legislature and that the information presented at the forum laid the groundwork for him. Guam Women's Chamber of Commerce President Lulian Guerrero gives us a summary of the discussion. Most of the information that's being brought forward uh, supports the need to increase the minimum wage because uh, they talked about the prices of commodities going up, but our uh, minimum wage has been stagnant for over 20 years, and so our purchasing power and the real value really of our wages has been declining. Leon Guerrero said local economists believe the increase in minimum wage would benefit the economy because it would give the island a great purchasing power and that businesses will endure and survive. She said even with a few negative impacts in the short term, an increase in minimum wage would be better in the long run. Rasal Romanas, PNC News.